Glad I was looking at this stupid thing. <clears throat> hey guys, Josh with Happy Little Landscapes here. Uh, I wanted to show you guys I, what I normally prime my canvases with is Bob Ross's Liquid White. It looks a lot like this. Let's see. It looks a lot like that. And that becomes basically our primer, makes our canvas wet to the touch and allows that thick oil paint that we use to move and blend. So a lot of people have never used it before. If you haven't, I'm gonna show you how to put it on and about how much you wanna put on uh, in order to have it work well for you. If you have too much, it's gonna get real muddy. And if you have too little, it's not gonna blend enough. So what I'm gonna do is both sides of our big two inch brush here and just push hard into the canvas. I understand it's kind of difficult to see, but we're gonna be prepping this canvas for a painting that we'll do in another video. So depending on when you watch this, you'll have to go find that one. But what we're doing is just crisscross strokes back and forth, back and forth until the canvas looks wet. And you'll be able to feel, the more you do it and the more practice you have at it, you'll be able to feel when you're painting how much it's dragging on the brush and how much you may have a little bit too much in one area and not enough in another area. And so that just comes with time and practice. For the meantime, you want to get it really wet, back and forth over all things. Shouldn't take you long to do a 18 by 24 canvas like we have right here. So just like in, in fast motion, we're just X strokes like this. You can go straight and then come back and do it the other way, or this way, this way, this way. We're still making X's, and that's what we want to do. And it doesn't take a whole lot of paint. You've got all this paint layered up in your brush here, so the harder you push, the more we're gonna stick them even moving my whole canvas, you see that? So we'll lay it on, and a good indicator is if you look at it from the side, it should all be pretty uniformly wet, and then I'll show you how to check if you have it at the right thickness as soon as we get done here. A little bit more. And you can see my cam is shaking around. You can really push hard, get it in all those little pores of your canvas, get it down underneath where the easel holds it down here, up underneath here, because we always forget. I'm gonna go up and down the entire length of the canvas, like this. Up and down, back and forth, go sideways. Like so. That's why I use a big two inch brush like this, you get it done real quick. And then we come along the side and we kind of look, see how our light's bouncing off. I could use a little bit more right here. So we'll just, you can even take it in circles. You can do it in circles, it doesn't matter. As long as it gets covered, it doesn't matter how you put it on. Your way is the right way, like I like to say. Because I've never taken a single class. I've never, I've never gone to art school. I've never told anybody that. And, uh, yeah, I just kind of make it up as I go along, and if you like that, I can show you some cool things that I do that you might be able to do and uh, make painting a little easy for you. For instance, I hate having to wash my brush all the time. So I like to show you guys paintings that we can do where if you don't have paint thinner or if you only maybe have a few brushes and you can't really wash it like I can, you don't have to. We can do the whole painting in one little brush. Well, a couple little brushes. But that's pretty much it. We only had, all I did was to get it into this little tin was to shake up the jar and whatever got stuck to the top lid is what I used to put on the canvas. It's not a lot. You don't need a lot of paint, but uh, yeah, as long as you've gone over it and you can tell that there's no dry spaces anywhere like there was there. And like I said, it's this, I mean, it's hard for me to show you what it looks like from the side here, but you want it to look wet. You don't want to have it look different or patchy or splotchy. So now that we've got it all primed and ready, the uh, last thing you can do just to take out any brush strokes is back and forth, side to side, pretty easy. And just like that, we've got our canvas primed and ready to throw some color on. So I'm going to put my apron on and get ready to paint. And uh, we'll see you guys on the next one.